hello friends so in this video we are going to learn about sap dart so i will let you know what actually dart is so <coughs> dart stand for data retention tool so whenever big companies uh, are having some clients with the consultancy services uh the big companies uh, generally have a lot of data so this is uh, like uh, this is a known thing that uh, all the big companies are having a lot of data in their production so whenever we need to uh, and one more thing that uh, when big companies operates they usually have a lot of branches in each and every uh, countries so maintaining and uh, and and gathering the data in for a particular company becomes a really a, a big task so in order to simplify this sap has made uh, a, a simple tool that that you know, that gathers all of the data for a particular company and place it in a, in a certain format so that uh, we can present it for some audit purposes or some verification that uh, data is correct or not if any error is coming or not so so main purpose is why dart is used is for uh, audit purposes so uh, these are related to tax so so main thing why dart is used is uh, generally for this audit purposes and that's the dart that is a data retention tool is uh, a tool that is uh, already provided by sap and is generally used for retrieving the data from production uh, now uh, if uh, if we take a real uh, uh, basic concept that concept how it works is you need to learn the concept so that you can uh, implement it correctly now you have you need a lot of authorization and all the, that that we will not discuss we will discuss uh, first of all basic things basic uh, the so this is the uh, this is i am creating a database uh, and this is uh, production production database database so this is production data so all the things uh, from order purchase orders uh, uh, invoice everything are there in this database uh, imagine that this is uh, a huge 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 database now <coughs> if if we are uh, generally having uh this as company a now we have another company which is uh, generally supporting it uh from elsewhere uh it is having a server now this is company b now this company is actually supporting this a company this b company is supporting this a company so the data need to be presented by company b this server so what actually is done by this company b is it extract all the data from this production into this server and after that this is a server i will make some paintings now this is a server now all the data are here now with the help of some transactions sap transactions it transforms the data into a particular format like xls now this is excel format